and Matt Ryan just went over 500 yards. 517 passing yards for Tom Brady. Ben Roethlisberger throws for 503. Every one of those guys put up huge numbers. And there have been many games of over 500 yards. With all the rules geared towards the passing game, a quarterback broaching that milestone is frankly no big deal anymore. Heck, Matt Schaub did it. Matt Flynn, of all people, hit 480 a few years ago, parlaying it into a contract, and he still rode the bench. All of which makes it remarkable, check that, unbelievable, that the record for passing yards in a game has stood for 65 years. Norm Van Brocken drops back, throws an arching pass upfield, Lazy Tom Fields gathers it in on the dead run, and races all the way to score for Los Angeles. Norm Van Brocklin's feat of 554 passing yards in the game has not only survived every challenger for the last seven decades, it came under somewhat unusual circumstances. Van Brocklin wasn't even the Rams' regular starting quarterback. It was a season opener in 1951 between Los Angeles and New York, the New York Yanks football team. Takes the snap back, goes back to pass, throws it over the right corner, touchdown! A touchdown! Van Brocklin put up his 554-yard performance in an era when 400 passing yards was almost unheard of. In those days, receivers could be hit all the way down the field. There was no bump and run. It was bump and more bump. So as impressive as Van Brocklin's outing was, the obvious question you must be asking right now is, how come this record's never been broken? The importance of quarterbacks in this era, or rather, losing them. Looks to the right, throws it for a wide-open Bennett, walking in, literally. <laughs> Think about it. If Tom Brady is on his way to a 500-yard game, then the Patriots are probably up 30 points and will quit throwing. Why risk getting your franchise QB hurt? In the 40s and 50s, quarterbacks weren't perceived to be the centerpiece of the franchise like today. So really, the best opportunity a player has is if he's playing from behind. Now, this has happened a few times, like Boomer Esiason's 522 in 1996 or Tony Romo a few years ago because his defense couldn't stop anything. And it's Manning and Romo, a seven-on-seven passing league right now. Most importantly, 554 is a huge number. Think about how many 50-yard bombs a quarterback would have to throw to approach that. One last thought here on Van Brocklin. He and this absolutely loaded Rams offense would go on to win the NFL title in 1951. Van Brocklin would do it again as an old vet, winning the NFL championship for the Eagles nine years later in 1960. The fabulous Dutchman, Norm Van Brocklin, earned the league's most valuable player award for his role in the Eagles' fight to victory. He retired after that game. Since then, only John Elway and Peyton Manning have won the title and then walked off into the sunset. Pretty solid company there, don't you think?